What's up, YouTube family? Welcome back to the channel. Coming at you today once again from my home gym, The Rack, here in Robertsdale, Alabama. We're fixing to uh, do a video on smashing chest. Uh, probably gonna start out by doing some warm ups. After I get warmed up, we're going to uh, take the 140s, the 140 pound dumbbells for a ride, and um, just annihilate the chest till we're totally toast. Let's go lift some weights. We're gonna do a mild incline dumbbell press here. Um, gonna be focused on slow and controlled. This is just a warm up set right here before we uh, take our top set for a ride. So. All right, so up next, I'm gonna take the biggest, uh, the biggest dumbbells we have here, the 140s. See how many times we can rep them out. All right, so going for a PR here, taking the 140s for a ride. I took the 130s for a ride last week. Let's see how many reps we can get on this. Seven reps. All right, so this is a old plate loaded hammer strength machine. We got it set to do some inclines here. Um, because I've been focusing on lower chest, a lot of my chest workouts lately, I've been starting with a decline press um, in order to you know, grow my lower pec. But for years, I started out, I've got this big thick chest partially because of genetics, but partially because I always started with incline. Start with incline while you're the freshest because that's, you know, the one you're you're gonna do the least weight with. So I always start with an incline press of some sort, whether it be dumbbells, whether it be plate loaded, whether it be, you know, on the actual bench, I always started with incline and worked my way to flat and then on to decline. Um, or you can go to decline and then flat, but either way, you know, that's gonna make you a little weaker on your flat bench, but you gotta leave your ego at the door. If your goal is to grow muscle tissue, if your goal is to, you know, look aesthetically a certain way, you need to set your ego aside and do what grows the muscle the best. So right here, we're gonna do nice, slow, controlled, eccentric, pause at the bottom without the weight racking while the tension's still on it, explode out, slow and controlled down, pause at the bottom, explode out. We'll do these for three or four sets. All right, up next, I think we're gonna do a flat bench with the camber bar. We're gonna do a uh, camber bar here. What the camber bar does is allow you to get deeper into that stretch position. And today is focused a lot on um, getting that deep stretch. So you wanna make sure that you're pulling it down nice and slow, pausing in the stretch without the weight actually resting on your chest. Pause, explode out, slow, controlled, descent. Pausing in that stretch position without the weight resting on your chest. Explode out, do about three or four sets of these. We're only getting one on video today so the video is not incredibly long, but uh, these are great for focusing on that stretch for your chest on the flat bench. You can use these on the incline, you can use them on the decline, you can use them on the, the flat. We're doing it on flat today, but it does work on any of the bench press movements. All 
All right, up next, technically is a tricep movement, but uh, we're gonna do pin press. Close grip bench, pin press. All right, so we're gonna do a close grip pin press here. Can't focus on the, uh, the stretch position because as we come down, it'll transition from being, you know, majority tricep into, uh, you know, engaging the chest. And once your chest takes over, it takes over. So by shortening the range of motion, by using this pin press, you know, by putting the safeties up here, this allows it to stay vastly majority of a uh, tricep exercise. Everything else has been, you know, majority uh, chest with a little bit of tricep. This one's gonna be majority tricep with just a little bit of chest. But uh, this is a great tricep exercise. You can load it up nice and heavy. If you go too heavy, you got the safety racks in place. Just allow it to fall down. No big deal. Don't need a spotter. <laughs> Definitely one of my favorite exercises. It takes a little longer to set up, you know, with the safety racks and the, the bench and everything, but totally worth the effort. Three to four sets. These will set you right. Yeah. Up next, we're gonna do some uh, seated flies. All right, so seated flies. You wanna set the handles where it's got you well stretched. As long as you know your, your labrums and you know everything's healthy and it doesn't cause any discomfort, you wanna have it you know, set in this nice stretch position. Slowly control pull out that very first rep. Nice, controlled, back eccentric. Pause with the weight still having tension. Explode out. Three to four sets of these. Up next, we're gonna do a free motion convergent chest press. All right, so this is the free motion. It's a fly or a press. I'm gonna be doing a convergent style press, which is where, you know, it pulls out from the sides and converges toward the middle. So it's slightly, a, it's a pressing movement, but convergent. So it gets a little bit of that, you know, striations along with creating that depth that we you know so desire that thickness as they say um this is a fantastic machine uh if you've jim has one don't skip out on this <sighs> you want to let it stretch you almost uh you know decline the scapula back there Don't let the weight quite rack in this back position. Explode forward. Three to four sets of this. So, if you like the video, like the video, hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell so you won't miss any future video. Leave a comment, ask a question, you know, join this community help one another, you know, ask for suggestions, advice, anything I can do to help, I will. And just remember, we get better together. You cannot be some monster. Love you guys. Thanks for watching.